Hi. More iPad Air 4 related goodness. Well, I hope it's going to be goodness. I don't know. We're having an unboxing here and the setup. Um, I wanted to try out one of these cases with a keyboard. Um, and looking at the Apple site, the Magic Keyboard is three ninety nine. Sorry, two ninety nine. Um, right, I'm just going to cut in here. Um, this is Apple's website in the UK, and here we have Magic Keyboard. Click buy. Of course, it's being very slow now. Um, ooh, one of my uh, one of my things has cut in here. One of my extensions to say there's a lower price, but on the Apple site it's two nine nine. Okay, this is the case with a touchpad. Um, let's see what my extensions have to say. Ebay it's two seven nine and on eBuyer it's three hundred and two quid, which is more expensive. So you can get one on eBay for two seven two hundred and seventy four ninety nine p. And if we go back, um, smart keyboard folio, which doesn't have a trackpad. Let's have a look how much that is. And that is save ninety nine quid lower price or one hundred and seventy nine for a keyboard without the trackpad, which has a folding design at the back of it as well. But again, one of my extensions has cut in one of my Chrome extensions, and it's available for eighty quid on eBay. <laughs> I wonder if that's um, I wonder if that's second hand one. Let's have a look at that. Apple iPad 1 and a half, oh yeah, 144, right, lowest price, well here it says the lowest price, I've got it sorted by lowest price, it says 144, so the 88 quid must have been a second hand one, but 144 on eBay there, yeah, so that's it, I just wanted to point out the sort of prices we're competing against, bearing in mind this one is 40 quid options taking it over 300 quid and that was a bit much for me I wanted to try it out so me being me and being a keen dumpster diver uh, shopper I had a look on I think it was Banggood this one or was it Amazon actually it was Amazon it was Amazon I got this from and I found something like it for 40 quid which is much more like it, $39.95. So, without further ado, there's my knife gone. Knife. I'll have a quick unboxing. Oops. I keep on knocking this rubbing stand. And, whoops, here it is, what have we got here, here we got screen protectors, I don't take this anywhere so I, I to be honest I can't really think of them um, where necessary, An instruction manual, stick film installation tools which I imagine is for the screen protector. And here is the thing itself. Right, now observe, it's got a touchpad. Also observe, it's a Windows keyboard. <laughs> Which I knew when I was ordering it, but on the iMac I run um, Windows 10 in boot camp on the iMac. And I've got a Windows keyboard permanently attached to the iMac. And, you know, once you get to know which is which, which uh, key corresponds to which, um, you're fine. Um, it works fine. So, the question is, it's advertised as hooking up to the iPad Air. 
Um, and we're about to find out. Um, so, here is the listing, 39.95. While I'm here, I just have to say, using Affinity Photo on the iPad Air 4, with a pen is an absolute delight. I might do a few videos on that coming up. Here's a leaf I took a photo of outside and messed around with the colors. Delightful. Okay, so let's get the um, wrapper off of this. Oh gosh, there's a lot left in the right, I'm just going to quickly all the ones. That weighs a ton, so there must be... Oh, a case. <laughs> a whole other case. And the cable. USB-C. Excellent. Right, so let's get this out of the way. I just want a quick reorganisation. For 40 quid, it's not looking too bad. So, let's open up this. Right, it's all a good deal thicker than the case I've got on the, on the um, iPad right now. It looks like something's just arrived, it might be for me. Right. right, there's the case, there's the Moco case, and here's this case, which of course can have a place for the keyboard. This, the, Mo the Moco... All right, Sam! Oh, hang on a sec, I've got to go. Hang on a sec. Right, the madman Sam has arrived to um, cut my hedge back. Um, but he hasn't got any fuel in his hedge cutter, so he's gone off to get it. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, 40 quid. Hello, that's stuck to that. You get that. Right, and here is a whole new case for the iPad and a place for a pencil where. So let me get my iPad and extract it from this case. If all you're looking for is just a straightforward case, then this Moco one is... I mean, I've got no complaints about it at all. Here's the iPad Air 4. And... Carefully lining the camera up, right? I should have cleaned the screen on this really, shouldn't I? Let's see if that fits in there, it doesn't fit. Ah. Oh yeah, it does. Or oh, does it? Ooh, that's tight. As the bishop said to the barmaid. Oh, come on. I've got a feeling. Jerry's gone. Eh? Hey? Jerry. Oh, sorry about that. They've gone off to get some petrol. Right, um, I've got it in. And the ports and the speaker things all line up satisfactorily. And I can see why they've provided screen protectors now because uh, if we have like like that, the keyboard is gonna have to be there and it snaps on magnetically. Okay, no give there. Um, the one problem I do have is that there is a place for the pencil, but I haven't got an Apple pencil. I've got the the Logic one, and that doesn't really fit in the slot for the pencil. Um, I must admit, having used this. I do find the Apple Pencil 2 quite tempting. Right, um, now, how to set the whole, get the whole thing going. I think I'm gonna pause here, 
read the instructions <laughs> for a change and then come back when it's set up. Right, that was probably about the worst unboxing ever due to all the interruptions. Um, they got here, they found they didn't have any petrol for the hedge trimmer. And they went and got some petrol, came back and found that the hedge trim was broken. So there you go. <laughs> um, I meant to say earlier, um, first thing that happened when I got this iPad Air 4 was the old anchor stand I had collapsed. I mean, literally the second time I put it on the stand. So I had to get this thing instead, um, which was 13 quid. And it's actually, well, frankly, it's a lot better, <laughs> a lot neater. Uh, very good. 13 quid. Um, right, so, this is the final setup with the keyboard and the iPad Air 4, it fits. Um, it's nicely backlit when you're using it. Typing it, typing with it. Um, I did a little bit earlier, let's see. I'm not a top touch typist so uh, it's absolutely fine I mean it just it just works uh, the one thing I couldn't get going is it says when you connect it over Bluetooth it's Bluetooth obviously um, the keyboard is a three system universal keyboard after connect it press function there's a function key down here on the lower left by the space bar. And Q, W and E to choose a suitable system. And I can do that until I'm blue in the face. But actually nothing happens. I can't see. Um, the wireless thing blinks. There's no instructions how to actually, nothing software comes up. And uh, there's no instructions on how to actually complete that. So um, I've no idea. Uh, as I say, I'm familiar with Windows layout anyway, working with Macs. Um, and I gotta say, I mean, the whole thing is <laughs> 40 quid, come on. There's no, you only get one angle like that there's no gradations of where you can um you know the angle between the keyboard and the back here there's only one possible angle but that seems fine to me and to me it just looks like i'm going to take this out of the uh the stand this phone to me it just looks like you know a laptop it's absolutely fine um, that'll come in very useful for, you know, long writing jobs. Uh, let's see how it works with Affinity Photo. Um, let's choose a paintbrush. And let's see if we can... Yeah. You see, it works fine with Affinity Photo. That's me manipulating it with the trackpad, manipulating with the paintbrush. Um, the pen is probably more useful, but if I was stuck, I can always use the touchpad. It's not, I can't say it's the, you know, the classiest feeling touchpad I've ever used. Um, it's a bit clunky, but so what, you know, it's 40 quid. <laughs> um, can I select things with it? Yeah, it works fine. Yeah, it works absolutely fine. So that's it. If you want to spend, if you're not going to use it a hell of a lot, which frankly I'm not, and it's not worth your while spending 300 quid on, you know, the Apple product, I can't see anything wrong at all with this. With the very slight drawback, but um, it is a Windows keyboard, and as I say, the functions to change it between operating systems, I either don't understand yet or doesn't seem to work on this version of Mac OS or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I mean, how can you complain?
nearly it's what 15 percent of the price so there we go that's my review if you fall into the category of person like me who's reluctant to pay top dollar for something you can get a lot cheaper then you know something with 90 percent of the functionality for 15 percent of the price that always strikes me as a good deal so that's what i'm always going to be going for so thanks very much indeed for watching it took about it took you know the usual 10 seconds to hook up to bluetooth by the way um and what can i say it's fine okay thanks for watching see you next time the extra bit this is this is how it folds up i've taken the ipad out and um you just fold this over there this flap that will work with the uh, ipad in place of course and this flap is tied down not the world's strongest magnets but there you go okay thanks again